Sports. The Blitz is on, and it's state tournament time in high school football. This is from Maui, the three seed in Division I, Baldwin hosting Lelehua, the two seed out of the OIA, Keenan Saranaga to Maya Andrade, 29 yard touchdown. Still in the first quarter, Saranaga to Fred Padronis, that made it 14 0 Mules, got to 21 14 at halftime. Keelan Evaliko to Roe Wilson, helping the Bears coach, Wilson with a great grab in the end zone. This is the fourth year in a row these two teams have met in states, and for the fourth year in a row, Lelihua eliminated Baldwin. Saranaga to Andrade again in the third quarter, and that iced it. Andrade, 11 catches, 222 yards, two TDs. Saranaga threw five touchdown passes, and Lelihua won despite six turnovers. 35-26 to final on Maui. Next for the Mules, second seeded St. Louis, the I Lace champion, next Friday at Aloha Stadium. I hope you're all having a pleasant evening. Remember, no kahuku in the state tournament after the Red Raiders were DQ'd by the OIA for using an ineligible player. Another D1 game on the west side tonight. For that, we welcome Jemai Webster and Brandy Higa. That's right, Robert. The matchup was Waianae, the OIA's third place entry against BIIF champion Keala Kehe. Wave Riders 10 and 1, Sea Riders 4 and 7, and no Big Island team has ever won a game in the state tournament. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Why and I, a tournament team with their 4 and 7 record, it does sound weird. They haven't won a game since way back in September. Before kickoff tonight, we talked to Sea Riders head coach Danny Matsumoto. Yeah, we got to just take one thing at a time, one game at a time, and, and, and see what happens. I mean, I saw no, I saw a record as, as compared with everybody else. You know, everybody's all nine and one and all this, and gosh, we got So we're real lucky to be here tonight. Sea Rider cheerleaders providing a boost for the home team as Puletua Wilson turning the corner on a keeper, getting large yards for why not. Early on, Sea Riders too tough for the Wave Riders. Peter Ulufano putting the hurt on Tyler Yates. When they got the ball back, Wilson went airborne, connecting with a long pass with Ho'okena Kamana. That set this up for the Sea Riders. Wilson's straight give to Bryson Panue. This play right here, got a little ahead of ourselves. That's Bryson Panue. He turned it into a 15-yard touchdown. And in case Kealakehe was thinking about a rally, Chavez Kalwalu went all big body on Yates, ripping the ball out of his hands. Final score on the west side, 34-16 Y and I. Still no win in the states for the BIIF team. Next week, Y and I at five and seven now advances to the semifinals versus top seeded Mililani. OIA champs are 10 and one. One matchup in Division Two play tonight. That happened on the Big Island. Kamehameha Hawaii hosting Kaimoki. Bulldogs quarterback Nainoa Spencer picked in the first quarter by Ren Clark of the Warriors. Bulldogs 10 and 1, seated third. This is from the second quarter. Spencer to Oalesi Sua. Big back picked up 20, but they trailed at that point 3 zip. Now, a few plays later, Sua got to finish what he started, taking it in from the three yard line, and that made it 7 to 3. Bulldogs, OIA White Champs, they beat the D2 Champs of the BIIF 14 to 9, improving to 11 and 1 with 11 consecutive wins. Next week, Kamaki's back on the road, facing number two Lahaina Luna on Friday. Maui's best is 7 and 2. There's one more first round Division 2 game scheduled for tomorrow, and that's on Kauai. 7 and 1 Red Raiders. The four seat, they hold six and four color hill with kickoff set for 430 in the afternoon. Now tomorrow's start times a bit different on the guard now. Most of the games on Kauai this season been much earlier because stadium lights were harmful to birds. That's right. They're calling the 430 kickoff at dusk tomorrow and folks on Kauai had to get a federal court ruling to allow it. The birds that have been affected by the lights are the Shearwater and the Hawaiian Petro. So the Blitz will be back on tomorrow night. We'll have the highlights from the Mustangs and Red Raiders. Dubai, Brandy, good evening. Later.
The Gibe Arnold era as head coach of the UH men's basketball team officially tipped off tonight on opening night of the 47th Rainbow Classic. Rainbow Warriors versus Montana State. That's returning senior Hiram Tompkins drive for two. Here's one of the many new faces, Bo Barnes. With a jumper, 19 points in his first seven shots, five of nine from three-point line. Also returning senior Bill Amos, seven points, seven boards. Off the inbound, newcomer Vander Joaquin, four points, six rebounds, much as expected of Justin Thomas. He dropped a pair of threes early, 32-32 at the break, 18 points in his UH debut. Thompson, hot hand tonight, 21 points, six boards, four assists. 77-59 season opening win. Hawaii faces Cal State Fullerton tomorrow night. They are on the floor right now versus Central Michigan and the Titans lead the Chippewas 37-33 at the half. Second half is just getting an